So we've got to the part where we're going to be dealing with dynamics. And what I've done is I've added the wind um, force. And the wind force can be found from the simulate tab in the particles and then the wind. I then went to the hair dynamics object and in the dynamics tab. And you can see here, in fact, it's in the forces tab that I drag and dropped the wind into here, making sure that it's set mode to include. This is so basically the wind will affect the hair. And since we start to play, we will see that the hair will start to drape and also the wind will start to have its effect when it's turned on. So initially, when we just press play, you can see here that the hair just drapes. This is kind of what you would expect it to do. It just simply drapes. Now, if you had a particular hairstyle at this particular point, you would find that your hairstyle will be gone because it's simply just draping the guides. This is not what we want. So that's just plus play for this at the moment. The next thing is I'm just going to turn on the wind force. And then you'll see that the wind is now creating a little bit of turbulence. Let's show you the wind settings here that I've got. We've got wind speed and the turbulence and it's giving it a bit of movement there. Now this is all good and well but what if you wanted to make sure that some of your hairstyle remains some of its strength while at the same time it has a little bit of movement there. Well this obviously can be done. So I'm going to go to the hair object which has got this hair on. We're going to go to dynamics and the two things that we're going to be looking at is the rest mix and the rest hold. If we were to increase the rest mix you'll notice now that the hair has a little bit of movement but not to the extreme where all the hairstyle is lost. Now we just take this down a little bit more. In fact we take this down to zero and we look at the the other one. It's not the roots one is it that I was looking at. It was the rest mix. Now let's go to the rest hold bring this up. This has a similar effect you can see there but it kind of bounces into place and it stays there. So this is really nice to get this wavy look of the hair. If you was to combine this with the rest mix You're now going to get a really nice effect overall. Remembering that this is only assimilating it in the viewport at the moment. When it goes to render, it won't be as juddery as it is right now because we are actually previewing the actual hair fibers themselves. If we was to, was to go to the hair object and go to the editor and then say, take the detail down to zero, then what we're seeing is just the effects it's having on the roots. Now, obviously, you can see a bit of Flicky, flickiness going on here. This can often be because we just need to increase um, from the uh, dynamics modifiers tab to increase the steps. And as you increase the steps, it's going to do a better job of it basically. But what you're seeing in the viewport doesn't necessarily reflect what you're going to get in the render. So don't be put off by what you see at the moment because it won't always be that way. Now the, um, the iterations, the higher the number, the more stiffer the hair will be. And the lower, the more it's going to move. This can also create problems as well with it moving around too much. So the, you need to find a balance between the two. Now at the moment the dynamics is set to guide. We can actually set it to have dynamics on the actual hairs. But it will really drag your system down big time. Especially if you've got hundreds and hundreds of thousands of hairs, it will really pull your system down. So I recommend that you leave it to guides and then you'll get the effect that you're after. And not only can you go in and affect the strength of all of these parameters, for instance, the roots, the stiffness, rest hold, etc., by these adjustments, but you've also got all of these adjustments to control from from spline guides or the the, um, the modifiers that we've got and that really really can make a difference between the strength between the tip and the root so you can basically have the rest mix to be varying along the, the whole of the guide which is really really good to be able to do finally when you want to speed things up and get things running 
really smoothly you go to the cache and then you'll generate a cache so we're going to click on calculate and now we're going to calculate the cache upon all the frames for the dynamics in this particular case I've set it to 300 frames you can see here it's going for it pretty quick Now let's just go back to the hair object now and we'll go to dynamics I shall say to the editor we'll turn up the detail a little bit and we'll hit play look at the speed I can move around in the viewport let's just change this turbulence increase the wind a little bit more go back to our dynamics and what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the the rest mix to 100% increase the rest hold to 100% okay it's going to really try and hold it there now and then I'm going to go to the modifiers And I want to affect only the tips, so I'm going to pull down the root. And to slow down the hair a little bit, we can increase the drag. It just slows down its movement. Again, I'll give most of its strength to the tips. Bring the stiffness down for the tips. And we can have a forces even affect more of the tips than we do the actual roots. So it's nice to have this control. You can also control it via maps. 